Hey there, and welcome to the YouTube channel for the Renaissance English History Podcast. Today, we are going to talk about a Tudor scandal that I didn't mention in my earlier video I'd done on Tudor scandals. It's the time that, bear with me, the king's father-in-law had an affair with his daughter-in-law, not the one who was married to the king. Confused much? We'll break it down. But really quick, if you are new here, very special warm welcome to you. My name is Heather. And I have been podcasting on Tudor England since 2009. This channel is where I put all of my old episodes from all of my shows, as well as fun and interesting shorter content like this video right here. So let's get into it. I am talking, of course, some of you might have guessed this. So points to you if you did about the Seymour family. So they were illustrious, you know, very ancient family, but they had their share of family secrets one of which we're going to talk about today. So this saga concerns Jane Seymour's sister-in-law, Catherine Phil, and she was married to Edward Seymour. Okay, so this scandal actually sent ripples through the Tudor court. It was a really big scandal. In 1519, Edward Seymour, who was the brother of Jane Seymour, he married a woman called Catherine. She was an heiress in her own right, and she had two sons, John, and Edward, one in 1527, one in 1529. But soon after, she disappears from public life. Seemingly, she retired to a convent. So why did she retire to a convent when she had this great life with the heir to the Seymour family and these two sons and everything like that? Well, in 1527, her father, Sir William, his will explicitly stated that neither Catherine nor Edward nor any of their children were ever to inherit any part of his lands due to, quote, many diverse causes and considerations. So this denial of inheritance combined with his wish for Catherine to live virtuously in a religious institution suggests a scandal of significant proportions. Perhaps it was then in the aftermath of his father's will that the rumor of Catherine's affair came to light. So a marginalia note in a 17th century baronage held by the College of Arms notes that Edward repudiated Catherine as she had been known by his father after the nuptials. The rumors that Catherine was having an affair with her father-in-law were persistent and unrelenting. By 1535, though, Catherine had passed away in her life of obscurity, probably in a convent, and Edward quickly married Anne Stanhope. But then, perhaps still questioning the paternity of his sons with Catherine, he actually disinherited both of his sons in 1540. So if it was indeed something going on there, it would explain the intense efforts to keep it hushed up. Notably, Sir William had disinherited Edward as well as Catherine. So the reasons, of course, remain unclear. The scandal is deeply shrouded in mystery paints a complex and controversial picture of the Seymour family in the Tudor era. From the height of power to the disgrace of scandal, it serves as a stark reminder that even the highest echelons of society were not exempt from the murkiness and political misgivings of a family controversy. Be really awkward. Ah, the truth about what happened between Sir John and Catherine might forever remain a mystery. It probably will. But its impact on the Seymour family was undoubtedly significant, casting a shadow that lingered for generations. In fact, um, several historians have pointed out that it might have been the reason why Jane was still unmarried at age 27, that maybe people were afraid of getting too involved with the Seymour family. And Sir John stayed away from court um, and kept to himself. But it was really after Jane married Henry and then gave birth to Edward that uh, the Seymour started to come back. And come back they did, of course. Um, Edward, the brother, became the Lord Protector during the reign of Edward, his nephew, Edward VI. So there's also a tragic element to this scandal, which is that Catherine, the woman who was at the center of it all, was just a pawn. She had little control over her own destiny, um, and she wound up being separated from her sons and living this life of, of obscurity, um, probably dying without anybody being around her. I mean, the whole thing is like very, very sad. Um, However, in one kind of 
post-mortem uh, success of hers. The present Duke of Somerset is actually descended from Catherine because Anne Stanhope's line died out about 200 years later. So the present Duke of Somerset is descended from Catherine's line. So, you know, they kind of got their rightful inheritance in the end. So that is the scandal involving the Seymour family before in the years right before leading up to when Jane married Henry. There you go. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you made it to the end, please give it a like. And I hope that I've earned your subscription to my channel. It really helps me grow the channel and reach more people. And I mean, who doesn't want their YouTube algorithm tutor five these days, right? Thank you so much for watching. And I will speak with you again in my next video. Bye.